catchy raucous beat. It's your boy, Richie Ruckus. We are back here today. It is Saturday, August 31st. The summer is officially ending. It's Labor Day weekend. People are getting down to the beach for one last go around this summer. And as I've stated quite recently on this channel, I'm a little bit happy that summer's coming to an end. I'm a fall guy. And, you know, I just really, really rock with, you know, layering and hoodies and jeans and... You know, the shorts and being sweaty just ain't for me. That being said, I have a brand new sneaker pickup. And I'm going to hit you with that unboxing, that review, and that on foot. I'm actually also currently extremely hungover. The beard, I can just see, is crazy right now. And um, I don't sound or feel myself. And I wanted to do the on foot for these out in the streets with my people, out in the elements. But I feel like this hangover may be taking too much of a toll on me. For me to venture out, I am a big sissy when I'm hungover and needy and I'm feeling that way right now. So we're going to break these out. Last night, Lapstone Hammer and Jimmy Garecki, a skater here in Philly, a humongous skater here from Norristown who is making waves in fashion and other stuff, did a part, they had a party last night at Lapstone Hammer and Jadakus. <laughs> Was the host of the party? He did three songs, and I, I wanted to get footage for these guys, but me and they were kind of just too focused on getting our drink on. So it was very, very dope, very, very cool. They dropped some pieces that are going to be part of the collection that drop September seventh. I'm going to give these guys an early look, I guess, at what I picked up yesterday. They're both for Nay, so I'm not really going to be able to get a fit off in them. I will try and you know possibly get Nay to put do a little fit pick for me, but I, I can't make any promises. So it's the Lapstone and Hammer times JSPT. Standard issue supply premium basics. As you see the packaging is very, very dope. It's almost like you'll play on the whole nutritious fact stuff. So it's the standard issue hand dyed. The Lapstone and Hammer is famously known for we have the t-shirt which retails at $60. Peep the price tag right there. And then I believe we also got the shorts. We also got the Lapstone and Hammer times JSP short. These retail for $120. Very similar packaging. The standard issue single pack. Again, with the play on the whole nutritious facts and stuff of that nature. So shout out to them. It was an invite only type party. Like I said, Jada Kiss was there. And it was just very, very dope. Very, very chill, relaxing. Just cool. Just trying to like... It was just in the cut type atmosphere. And you know, Last One Hammer, they always throw bangers. Their parties are always good. And Dave, one of the ones and twos, the rest of the staff is hospitable as they always are. And enough about the party. Let's get this party started. You know why you're here. Let's get a glimpse. All these warlocks. We have the Jordan 1 Obsidian. You know your boy is a Jordan 1 fanatic. You know your boy is a North Carolina fanatic. A Jordan 1 in a UNC colorway. Bananas. You know your boy had to have them. The baby blue, the university blue, and navy blue really pop on these. Let's go over the aesthetics of the sneaker. Briefly, before we jump into the on foot portion, you got the navy blue Nike Air insole with the university baby blue Nike Air logo. You have a predominantly white upper, followed by navy blue and baby blue leather, the navy blue swoosh, navy blue Nike Air tag on the tongue, and the leather quality bananas. Very, very dope. The leather quality in these is exquisitely done. Shatter backboard type leather, I don't subscribe to that thought process. Shatter backboard is not a type of leather. I understand people obsess over the leather on the Jordan 1 shatter backboard. I'm not one of them people, and I'm not going to even entertain them stupid questions. It's not shatter backboard quality. Shatter backboard quality is in a type of leather. That being said, very dope, very nicely done. Like I said, as soon as images of these released, I knew I had to have them. I just got 
recently the Eric Costin Nike SB Jordan 1 UNC Low. If you didn't peep that video, I suggest you go back onto the channel, give it a watch. You know your boy is a sucker. I am a sucker for a Jordan 1, and I am a sucker for this colorway. You hit me with some baby blue, you hit me with some North Carolina colors, you hit me with some Chicago Bulls colors, I'm going to be all over them. It's the, the inner Jordan North Carolina fanatic in me. Being from Philly, it is crazy that North Carolina was always a school I subscribed to. And like I said, it's just, I've said in previous videos that, you know, my uncle, who was kind of an influence on me getting into sneakers, was a Michael Jordan fanatic. And I think that played a part in it. Plus, growing up, baby blue was always my favorite color. So it was just, I guess that's why I picked the school. But I've always been a fan of UNC. And even now, looking at these, I guess you could rock these with a Villanova fit. But I'm a Tar Heel to the death. As far as the questions we're always going to get hit with, true to sizing, I always go true to size with a Jordan 1. I do not recommend sizing down. People who put a Jordan 1 on for the first time seem to think they're extremely uncomfortable. As you may, as many of you know, the Jordan 1 is one of my top three favorite sneakers of all time. Jordan 1, Jordan 3, Air Max 1. Very easy peasy. That list never changes. I won't rank them. It's very, it's like picking a favorite kid. You can't do it. I don't know how I would rank them. I have a pair of Air Max on right now. I'm going to shortly be putting on this Jordan 1. It's just if I had to pick three sneakers, no colorway, colorway excluded to live the rest of my life in, it would definitely be them three. And, you know, these are dope. I can't wait to throw these on. And there's Easter eggs all over this video. There might be a new sneaker things, long sleeve tee dropping. I don't know. I don't want to draw too much attention to it. You may want to peep RichieRuckers.com soon, but overall, very nicely done by Jordan Brand, and I really can't wait to rock these. As you guys know, uh, I feel like, you know, I go through these spurts of videos where it's Yeezy, 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 Yeezy. Then it's Jordan 1, Jordan 1, Jordan 1, Jordan 1, Jordan 1. Then it was like Jordan 3, Jordan 3, Jordan 3, Jordan 3. And then I just did a slew of Air Max videos, and it's just... I feel like every video I've done recently has been an Air Max, a Jordan 1, or a Yeezy, and it's, you know, and it's not, like, these, these, these sneaks aren't seated to me, these sneakers are sent to me for free, I spend my money on these, so it always is a pair of sneakers that I love, and that's why, like, I always want to hit you guys with an honest review, but I'm not going to go spend my money on a pair of sneakers that aesthetically are not pleasing on my eyes, so it's just... It's very hard for me to come on here and trash a sneaker. There's no shot I would ever trash these. Very dope. If you have not got yourself a pair, I am sure you will be able to track down a pair. It seemed like these were pretty abundant. Uh, but based on social media, it looked like everybody who really wanted a pair got a pair. I have a few friends that were able to get two. Um, so it, it was just, I feel like if you wanted these, you got them. And that's the way sneakers should be. I, you know, I hate the resale game. I, I preach that all the time. I feel like if you want a sneaker, you should be able to get a sneaker without, you know, paying the crazy resale value. Sure, maybe you have to jump through some hoops to get them. Sure, you have to put the legwork in. But I just feel like, the, you know, the whole resale game is just very, very corny to me. And that being said, there's not really too much more to say about these. I'm going to go bang out the on foot. I will be back next week with some more videos. But until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! The number you have reached, 911, one, one. has been changed.